tell us about the vibe here at the conference from the lens, no pun intended, lens of Mirantis. Well, Mirantis is here at the show and announcing a new product, so there's a lot of excitement. Um, you know, we've we've gotten back into our open source vibes again with the announcement of K-Zeros being in the CNCF sandbox, which is very, very exciting for us. It's been a while since we've been in that position. Um, so far, so good. You know, it just opened up this morning. Yesterday, the AI day was a lot of fun, a lot of interest. Obviously, that's the hot topic at the moment. Um, but we've got a big team here and very, very excited to talk to more people about what we're doing and just see where open source is going in this world, especially around Kubernetes. Yeah, which is also exciting. You have Randy now, a part of our team, and you folks have gone full-blown full with support for open source, releasing a lot of uh, products, services as part of open source. We'll talk about all of that, but let's just get some of the base things out. Any announcements here at the KubeCon? So the biggest announcement for us is K-Zeros has been donated to the CNCF. It's now in the CNCF sandbox. Um, our Cordon project was released beginning of this year, very much focused on multi-cluster management, um, and service management for Kubernetes at large scale. And then the big, big one is our Cordant AI um, collaboration with G-Core. Um, I believe we'll be talking to you about that in the next few days. Um, Mirantis has got a full stack inference solution on top of Cordant. That's a big part of the way we're looking at the future. Uh, really addressing this new, very complex workload that seems to be taking the world by storm at the moment and helping people navigate that journey.